His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gulabia Palace. The cabinet began by thanking the Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, the heads of government committees and the government agencies who participated at the Future Aspiration Workshop. The cabinet noted that their efforts contributed to identifying 27 policies and 113 initiatives that addressed aspirations in a range of policy areas, including infrastructure, environment, legislative work, social services, finance and economics, government performance and digital transformation. The cabinet directed the continuation of all efforts to realize these aspirations through initiating programs that will benefit the kingdom and its citizens. To mark International Youth Day, the cabinet affirmed its commitment to enhancing the contributions of Bahraini youth to the kingdom's comprehensive development, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. The cabinet also commended His Royal Highness's commitment to amplifying the role of the Bahraini youth through continued efforts to create valuable opportunities that encourage their participation and foster their capability in contributing to the kingdom's ongoing progress and development. The cabinet highlighted the contributions of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports under the leadership of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, for introducing initiatives that paved the way for cultivating Bahraini youth's innovation and excellence. The Cabinet also reviewed an MOU by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance regarding Bahrain's 2022 mid-year financial report for the period ending on 30th June 2022. The MOU revealed the results of mid-year financial report, which are indications of the outcomes of the Kingdom's commitment to fulfilling the fiscal balance program. The results showed that actual revenues collected increased by 52%, achieving f savings of 33 million Bahraini dinars, which contributing to reducing the financial needs to repay international bonds of public debt, including bonds worth 1.5 billion US dollars, equivalent to 5 165 Bahraini dinars, a million Bahraini dinars that were repaid until July. This is due to the rise in oil prices in international markets. These results are clear evidence that the government's disciplined approach to fiscal responsibility and long term sustainability is proving effective. The Cabinet affirmed continuation of adopting initiatives and unifying efforts to achieve the objectives of the Fiscal Balance Program. The Cabinet then reviewed an MOU by the Minister of Labour regarding the latest developments in employment and training for the first half of 2022. The MOU indicated that 14,321 Bahraini citizens were employed, which represents 72% of the annual goal of the Economic Recovery Plan's priority plan to employ 20,000 Bahraini annually until 2024, and a decrease in the unemployment rate from 7.5% to 5.7%. These outcomes followed the financial and economic packages that were launched during the COVID-19 global pandemic, the economic recovery plan and the launch of the national employment program. The cabinet then expressed its condolences to Egypt and the families of the victims in the tragic fire that broke out in Abu Sifin church in Giza and wished a speedy recovery to those who were injured. The Cabinet then discussed and approved the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Civil Service Council on the reconstruction of a number of ministries and government agencies to improve public sector performance and efficiency. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on two reports regarding Bahrain's consolidated final account and the performance of implementing the Kingdom's general budget for the fiscal year 2021. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance on the establishment of an integrated health centre in Salman Town in cooperation with the private sector. 
a memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding proposed amendments to various decrees on the protection of antiquities. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an agreement between the Kingdom of Bahrain Civil Aviation Affairs and the USA Federal Aviation Administration. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on the government's uh, res uh, response to four proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet also reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Shura Council and Representatives Council Affairs on the draft law submitted by the government which remains within the legislative authority following the conclusion of the fourth regular session of the fifth legislative term.